Hey everyone, how are you doing? Let me know you can hear me okay, please. m and &M, great, thank you. Let me, Arthur, Charles, Kevin, how are you guys doing? Fantastic. Just please do me a favor and make your, your chat setting so everyone can see what you write. It will be more, more fluid for everyone and will be more dynamic. That will help everyone. Uh, guys, my name is Sol. Uh, pleasure to be with you. Uh, usually Sneer uh, hosts the, um, the, the trading room on, on Mondays, but he's not available today. So I'll do it today. We'll go through the, the, the big picture of what's going on. And, uh, and then we might take some trades very careful because there's a lot of volatility in the market right now. We'll explain some things. And, and just remember if I, um, if I take any, if I, if I place any trade, it's not meant to be taken by, by you on your own accounts. Just make sure you follow your systems and your rules. And uh, I will just be trying to show you uh, trade management techniques and, and market readings. This is the way I, I place trades and I read the markets and scan the, the different charts, but it's not the only way to trade, correct? So just be responsible for your own, or own trading. Uh, that being said, let me show you, I won't go to, <laughs> to the Forex chart. We have some, some interesting stuff going on actually in the world. So just let me show you that. Uh, F Pfizer just came up, came out with the announcement that they have found the um, the vaccine for the for the COVID. So let me show you how that looks. And I, I won't. I can, you can see your chat. Yeah, so uh, let, me, let me show, let me know if you are watching the trading view and the, um, the US, USD 500. Is that what you're seeing right now, guys? Yeah, fantastic. So look at this huge breakout today. So everyone is buying US stocks, correct? So that all affect all the rest of the markets. Th that might be, might be people that used to hold gold that might be selling gold to get cash so they can buy uh, US stocks. There might be uh, all kind of stuff going on in the world. So people are very interested in US stocks right now. You can see the, the breakout of what used to be the, the old highs. Uh, so we are on a super record, super uh, all time highs on the US USD. Um, and here, this is the, the Pfizer stock. So this is the pre-market price. So it's already, it, 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 once it opens, it was trading about $36 per, per share. Now it's 41. So it's, it's all the way up there. So we'll be, there will be a lot of interest, interest in, in, in buying that uh, as well. Uh, now, if we jump over the, the, the Forex world, let me share you my screen. Okay, so now, now you should be watching my, my, my charts. So let's, let's start out with the daily chart. Okay, so um, let's stay here. So before, just let me make sure they were breaking out. I want to buy now. Okay. Um, so we have, we have a, a winner for the elections in the US. So uh, I, I'm not sure I told you, but I believe I, I did that as, as we saw Biden uh, winning the elections, so we would see a, a weakening on the US and we'll test, we'll test the previous resistance, which is right now. And today we expect a continuation of that movement. Now, that movement, that continuation might, might be just uh, direct to the, to, north, to, the, to the upside or it might or it might pull back a little bit and then it might continue up. 
in any case, the bias on the Euro USD is to the long side. Now, this last red line here, that's the, that's the last supply level. You know, this right here, if we go to an hourly chart, uh, this tail right here, that provides the last supply area on the daily charts. After that, there's pretty much um, nothing uh, holding that price to jump all over um, to, to, to the next supply area right here, which is 250 pips away. So uh, we, we will be trying to align ourselves to that. Uh, if you intraday trade, so uh, the, the best way to trade this is to try and, trying to align yourself to that bias because because um, it, it will be facing some supply up here and some resistance, but the overall bias will be to the buying, to the to the buying, to the buying side side. Uh, so that's there's that there's the there's the break happening. Um, let me show you some other stuff. The yen it's it's quite surprising because um, we were all trading. It last and, and even on, on last uh, th Thursday together, we were shorting this market and we, I was expecting some continuation. Now, of course, there's, the, the, there's this demand back here to push this market um, up a little bit, but I wasn't expecting that kind of movement in, in one day. I mean, if we go to the average true range, so for the yen, it's 80 pips. And let's see, let's measure the movement today. Look at this, has already moved, uh, moved 180 pips. So it's uh, more than two times the, average, the daily average range for the, daily, for the USD uh, JPY. So this is a, a, a tricky market right now, like the overall bias is, to, is, is short. But this, this is a very powerful candlestick that might change the overall direction of the market. So for me, I'm, I'm on the sidelines for this one. Um, CAD, everything's, everything's uh, it's falling. We can see the long-term bias. We can see the intermediate-term bias. And we're also trending uh, down. We we already visited this today. We visited this last demand available that that was back then. There was a reaction. Uh, let me show you that. So it was this reaction that right here, this tail, and a little continuation, but it just kept moving south. And now there's nothing to hold that market to continue all the way to this demand back here. So we're talking about another, about 90 or 100 pips. So I would be looking to short this market all the way to that demand area right there. And maybe that's a buying point, but a really tiny one because we're facing all the bearish uh, pressure. So we'll see if we have some opportunity. It has been hard to, to, to take a short position. You can see all this compressionary movement. This is not a healthy pullback or a healthy uh, trend. This, this candle is going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. They're just uh, filling all orders, buying and selling orders. So it's tricky to get into a, a market like that. I would rather a, a more directional market. And let me jump to the Aussie. Again, the Aussie is um, uh, overall bias long and we're again testing the highs. I believe that we will face last supply. Let me see, we might be there right now. Last supply area. Okay, so we're close to that area. That would be last, um, last point to to, to, to hold this market before it continues north. And I don't know to where, I, maybe this area right here, that would be the next stopping point, but that's very far away. Uh, I don't believe that that will happen that, that easy, but my overall bias is to the, to the upside. So I'll be looking to, again, to buy, um, maybe on a pullback like this. If there's another pullback like this one, we might 
consider buying. We could try to take the break now, but I don't know how powerful will it be. Um, let's see, the euro broke out. So that, that's the breaking point. So if we have a, a test of these levels right here, we can rejoin that, that, that movement. We'll come back later to, the, to, to this area. And what else do we have? Pound. I guess the same. Um, we had some signals to go, like saying we, we could be on a reversal pattern to downside, but uh, now we have more information of a, a bullish um, market. And it might face some supply in this area right there, right there. And of course, final supply up there, but we have room to, to get there. We have at least like kind of uh, about 50 pips to first supply and more than an almost 200 pips to the to next supply. So again, I would be looking to buy the, the pound. So on a clear breakout, in a clear breakout of these levels, I would be waiting for the first retracement to that area. It would, this would, this would look like this. So that's, let's say that's the breakout, and that's the reason this candle, this black candle. That's the reason I don't take the breakout itself, because in, many times you get into a, a false breakout, and it just looks that it's going to break, and then next next candle turns around completely. Um, but I rather to see a clear breakout, and then the first time the market comes to this area, this area will represent a demand, a fresh demand area. So I would wait for the market to come back to this area, so I can join uh, the the bullish the bullish market, the bullish momentum. Um, New Zealand and the Kui and the Aussie very correlated. You can see the the the, the Kiwi has already broken uh, previous highs. So we are on, um, on, a, on an expansionary phase right here. Next demand is that red line up there. And you can see from, from back here. So we have some room to, we have at least 40 pips till we reach that area. So again, we should go back to a um, five minute chart or smaller time frames, and we can try to, um, to look for opportunities. I already took a, a buy on on the on New Zealand back here. I already took that trade before we started, and I closed it. I, I wasn't expecting this this breakout. That, uh, I mean, I, I didn't want to hold for the the whole uh, period. I just want want some some pips, but I might wait for another pullback and then a new opportunity to to join. And finally. The USD franc, similar to the dollar yen, it's all pushing down, and suddenly we have this huge buying candle. Um, I was ex I was expecting some kind of supply areas, but I just didn't could I, I couldn't I couldn't find any. Um, I probably this will be uh, um, a, this is a fresh supply area. Maybe we'll we can. We'll see any kind of reaction up here. And if that doesn't hold, and I like this one, which is also a breaking point from, from previous, uh, previous uh, support. So I want to trade short to that area right there. Um, but for the day, I would be looking to buy this market. So if we go to the five-minute chart, I would be looking for, again, for pullbacks and then continuations. Um, guys, let me, let me know, of course, if you trade different pairs, and you you have a different analysis of the market. Just please type me type in the chart, and and I can I can I can even give you um, I can give you the microphone so you can share with us your your reading of the market. This is just the way I see the market. So that being said, um, let me see if we can take any trade. So we are testing now the, 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 
the breaking point, we just test it. Okay, we, we might be a little late for that trade, but we can take um, a quick buy and see if there's continuation of this movement. Let's see how this reacts. Okay, now, um, I will see how this behaves because I expect this support to, uh, to hold, but if I see there's just a breakout of that support, I have this, uh, this demand area. So my stop, uh, my, my stop loss would be below that demand area. So I would be looking for, um, my, my first trade, this first trade, I, will, I'm, I might show you a, um, um, a technique, a money management technique. Hopefully it will work out. Um, my first setup is the first retracement, correct? We have the breakout point area. I said first touch of that breakout, I will, I will look to buy. Now I didn't, I didn't place a, a buy limit stop, but I, I see this, um, uh, this candlestick uh, with the tail formation. So shows me rejection to this area. So next movement should be to the upside. Okay, that's my reading. Now, if that fails to form, um, you could either close the trade for a small loss here. Let me change colors. This would be a stop loss. Okay, so you you can either take the uh, clo close the trade for a four pip loss. Or we can wait for um, for next reaction on the on the on the demand area. So we, we we find some demands, and when market comes to this area, we can we can look for a new buying opportunity. And depending on on the behavior of the market down here, we can try we can either fix this trade, this overall trade, or we can uh, even make profit out of this better entry point, correct? So that's a that's a good entry point. That that's just fine, but market might pull back even lower before the next movement uh, to the upside. And of course, at a certain point, you have to just get out. Uh, at some point, your analysis fails, and you need to take the loss. That would be my my stop loss line because that demand area would just be broken. And I don't want to stay in the in, in that trade anymore. So we're in a waiting uh, wait, waiting game. We either um, we either wait for the market to go in our favor, uh, we can uh, or or the market to go against us, and then we decide if we just simply take a loss or we we try to 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 fix the trade. Uh, let me know again, guys, if there's any any questions. I will try to look at the at the um, at the chat, and if you want to if you want to to share anything, of course, go ahead and and do that. And I like the the fact before right here, right in this area, volatility was just super crazy. Um, um, I see it has already calmed down a little bit, so we can expect more normal market behaviors and movements. And so that's what I'm. I feel I feel good about this this trade. Is Charles is USD franc overextended short term? Let me see that. I will cancel this take profit for now. Uh, um, Charles, what 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 um, what time frame are you looking at? And Roshun, how do you define market trends and sideways for uptrend? Is it when it makes two swing higher high or two? higher low consistently. So how do I define 
trends that your question that's your question Russian uh, Charles on the five minute chart uh, yeah so for the whole day the, the the USD franc for the whole day is overextended uh, I believe if we throw a ATR you can see we have we have moved uh, a lot against the overall trend which is which is down so short term you could be trying to short this market for quick scalp um, but you you will be face you will be fighting the the daily movement so with a with a good risk management you could be you could be trading either uh, longs or or shorts depending on your strategy if you if you tend to trend um, against the trend or or with the trend how I define trends? Yeah, so I look for I look for um, for higher highs and higher lows. So um, so so let let let's take just this this scenario right here. So this was like a, a correction, or let's call it like a downtrend. And then we have uh, so so we have um, a push, a low, higher low, a higher high, higher low, higher high, and then a not lower low let's call it and then we have the first break of the the previous of previous um uh, uh, high that's the break that's the first lower a uh, uh, higher low from this um this pivot right here so that's the my that's that's the the beginning of a new trend um, and then of course of course the next one so this pivot this higher lows that's my confirmation of a new uh, uptrend so now for me for th this to change from an uptrend to a downtrend which should we have to see a breakout of this level then a formation of a higher uh, a lower high and then a continuation uh, lower so that would be uh, a reversal pattern so um, as long as we're forming higher highs i will stick to this to this movement as a as an uptrend m and m just be careful <laughs> use your own risk parameters and your own risk management okay you're glad to trade by my side but you know i i also take losses and I, and and the fact that i'm i'm chatting with you and talking and I'm, I'm trading i trade very very small so i don't i don't take a, a lot of risk on any any one of my trades so trade uh, trade with proper uh, risk management so this point right here those were a good if you were scalping that's a good um uh, take pro uh, take profit point correct because we we got into a resistance okay previous previous highs so that's a good um, taking uh, take profit now you, you you all we all trade different and we expect different things for market given the the day we're trading today uh, which we are all bullish and in an expansionary phase kind of uh, this might be on the five-minute chart. This is huge consolidation. This might be the beginning of a of a new leg higher. So I might consider holding this for a bit lo a bit longer. But if you're just sc scalping, that's a great take profit uh, point. Um, so you, you, we all need to decide uh, what to do with information. In in any case, my stop loss here. Uh, now now there's no point for keeping it there. Now my stop loss should be trailed. I don't want to, um, if this starts coming back, I, I won't hold this for longer. Now, if this holds, if this line holds, that's the last chance for market to, 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 to form a reversal pattern, which would be a double top, correct? This would be a double top. And if this blue line breaks, that would be a confirmation of a double top pattern. In that case, I don't want to stay into the market. So um so now i want to trail my stop okay to this point and it ha in, if i have um a, a break of the highs 
then I will move my stop to a to a, um, to a risk-free point, and I might just get uh, let this trade run. The only thing makes me hesitate about this trade is the fact that we're breaking now daily ranges. Okay, we, we're breaking the daily highs, previous daily highs from back here. And we, we, we don't have a, a, a clear continuation, a clear breakout. Um, that's the only fact, that, that's the only thing I don't love about how market is behaving. Um, if this is a true breakout from, from daily, daily uh, swing points, we should see this market just uh, take off all the way to next, to this next red line up there. So let's keep an eye open on, on this one. Yeah, Charles, that's a great, a great one. We need to determine if this is a flag along the trend. Uh, so, but but that that only all, all those answers we all we only have those answers backwards, correct? After we take the trade, uh, we we know if that was a, a, a um, what you call a um, a flag or a consolidation in inside the trend. Okay, a mid yeah, mid range consolidation or something. So, if this if this just continues going up, so yeah, so we can consider this as a, a flag and a new demand area and everything. But as we're trading live, um, we will we will know that just backwards. And of course, that will represent a, a great demand area. So if this really takes off, and we know this is a, a flag, this will be future demand. So in the future, if this market comes back here, we could take this as a demand area for a for a buy for a buy trade. Is there any way to plot a two minute chart on MT4, Anthony? I'm not sure. Um, but if you if you like if if you would like to to trade on off the two minute chart, you, you can maybe go to a uh, maybe to trading view or something and do all your analysis on trading view and then just execute the trades on on the mt4 only mt5 has those turns But the other thing, don't forget the time frames are just uh, arbitrary, correct? Like MT4 meta trading could give us uh, a 30 second uh, time frame, a four minute time frame, um, I don't know, a 20 minute time frame. So what we need to understand always is price more than the time frame is because the market does not behave in, in 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 the way we conceive minutes or hours or or so so price just fluctuates if if I, if we go to the okay so if we if we go to the to the tick chart so so that that's the market correct that, that, those are all the orders coming in and out of the market so the um, the, the candlestick are just a representation of that, but you can you could go to a line chart, and then there's no there's no meaning for the time frames, and 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 you just trade base of of um, of market formation and price behavior. Yeah, Mark, you you said it great. For smaller time frames, it's just zooming in on higher time frame price action. More details. Uh, Victor, what were your protocols for Euro Yen? Um, I, I will go there. Just if we continue reading price again, we broke the high, 
again, not a super strong break out, breakout, but if this behaves like normally, there should be that pull, but we, we're, we're, we're seeing now, and then a continuation, a continuation higher. Uh, that, that that should be normal normal market condition. Now, I'm I'm not 100% sure this is a pivot. Let me see the five minute chart. Yeah, you see, there's no. Uh, we still see all this up and down movement and a lot of indecision in the market. No no clear uh, up movement or so. So. So I could I could trail my stop. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a tricky market. You see the the um, the speed of the of the of the movement down. Um, as I suppose the how it took the market to go up all these minutes just took one minute to give back all that price. So I'm not, I'm not sure I will be holding this for for much longer. I would like for price to form a pivot right there and then to continue higher. If this keeps falling down, I will just uh, close the trade and uh, and I will in, in, in and I will be looking for for new entry points or new opportunities. Okay, I'll trail my I'll trail my stop. Yeah, you can see the, the speed of that. So let me close of, out of that. And and we'll we'll look for new opportunities here. In a second, um, you see the divergence on five minutes. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, that yeah that's a, a euro yen. Someone were asking. Um, yeah, so similar to all yen pairs, there's something going on on the on the yen, which is driving the which is just making the yen to, to go down. So Euro yen, similar to all yen pairs, huge, huge up movement. Um, I'll be looking for pullbacks to demand areas. And an opportunity to, to join that. I don't see anything. It's testing right now. It's testing these highs, this area right there. So maybe that's why it's it's pausing a little bit. Okay, this. Um, but it seems like it's going to break it, and after that, there's nothing really up to here. And then of course there so this is super this is overextended and um, but this usually um, opens the door for a continuation movement so either so even if there's any kind of reaction to the downside there's usually a, a continuation of that movement yeah m and m 30 pips, you did great, better than better than I. Okay, so you see, that's that's what made me hesitate about the trade. The fact that if this was a, a, a real breakout, it should just continue up. And it was taking too, uh, too, too long for that. So let's see if this forms into a reversal pattern, correct? So. This, this is now breaking the, the support line. So for this to create um, a, a reversal pattern, so we need a, a continuation of that movement, okay, of that breakout. This is a classic Quasimodo pattern. This will, this might, uh, first, first we need a continuation, okay, down. And then this can go either to that point and then reverse. Okay, so that, that there's the continuation. This will find some demand here. Okay, and then we can look for a pullback either to the breaking point, which is the, the blue line right there, 
or we can expect a, uh, a pullback all the way to the red, this one right here, which would be the, the left shoulder of the Quasimodo for the next uh, uh, movement down. And that would be a classic reversal pattern, which would align, of course, with all the divergence and, and, and all that stuff. So for me right now, bias, no bias, but momentum has changed from the, from the upside to, to the, to the uh, downside. So now I would be looking, I would be looking for uh, selling entries, okay, for, for short entries. Um, but I need to keep in mind, um, when I short this market, I'm shorting against the whole, the whole bias and the whole, um, big money behind it. Okay, so let's see if it reverses. Let me, let me, let me clear a little bit. Okay, so support line broken. Let's see where this uh, where this uh, stops. So that's the that's the neckline. That's a great point for short for shorting options. So that supply area, and of course, if we take a sell here, our stop loss needs to be above all that. So let's see how that behaves. So we have we have several forms to we have few forms a few ways to take this trade. So we can either take with a um, with a sell limit orders, which would be without confirmation, or we can wait for price to go up there and then to look for signals for second sell signals. Um, it might be a tail formations or engulfing candles or something like that. So we'll keep reading price. And Euro, CAD, Roshun. Euro, CAD, let me open that up. Where's Euro, CAD, Euro, CAD. Four hour. Yeah, so so a lot of selling pressure, but there's there's a lot of demand down down here. So that was until today. This right here was fresh demand. We have now tested it, and we we can see the reaction now from that demand. But if we see a, a, a like if this continues to go up or it moves sideways, and then we see a continuation to the downside, I, I believe next time it it goes to this area it will it will break it because demand has already been uh, consumed but until then we, you we, you could be looking for selling opportunities maybe it's not super super clear but maybe let, let me see how it looks on smaller time frames yeah so that supply area I, I, I guess you could try selling that area right there and you could you would be aligning yourself to the market that would be an option. Kadir, you just sold Euro USD. Quasimodo Roshun here on the. Mm, I don't see the Quasimodo. Mm, maybe on the hourly chart. Um, this being the left shoulder, but for this to be a Quasimodo, I would like to, to see it forming after or against a previous uptrend, a clear uptrend and not this channel. But yeah, it could be.
טוב, 31 איש, אחי, זה שבירת שיא. Okay, you can see the reaction. It didn't get, it didn't stop neither on, on the breaking point, and it didn't get all the way to the to the to the left shoulder. But you can see the the reaction. Now, this for me, for for this to be completed, the reversal pattern needs to break this pivot, so it forms a lower high and then a lower low, and that would be the confirmation of a new. A, a new trend formation. Let's see if there's anything else. Pound yen, just moving up and up and up. Amazing, but see, you, you, you can see the 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 pole flag, pole flag, and we can see next. We might see next formation. So this stays as demand areas, and this stays as demand. So any kind of pullback to those areas are great opportunities for buying. What else do we have? There you go. So who took picture? Kadir, you're, if you're still short, you should be doing great right now. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing you're doing fine. You left some runner. Great. Hold to them. Hold to those. So you see the reaction. You see this candle. Candle. That's the reaction from this demand. Okay. I'm I'm not sure it will just stop the 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 drop. Correct. But you saw the reaction. And I see now how, how prices have calmed down. We have we're back to normal ATRs. Um, but still, we have in a in a very uh, uncertainty moments in the market, in the overall uh, trend of the markets, because of the especially the, the U.S. related pairs because of the U.S. election. So, um, with all the statement statements of Biden, so we will have more clues about where is the economy going to to go, and that would that would affect the the dollar the dollar currency and guys i think that's that's uh, that's all for today we we have established our key levels and all almost all um, all pairs and the daily projections and the overall bias so I think we'll, we'll wrap up for now. And tomorrow, Snare will be here tomorrow. 
and Anthony, first session, welcome. Um, yeah, so exciting moments in the market. Just be, be cautious with your money management. And that's it. Um, have, have a nice week and happy trading. See you guys.